How to build your outdoor cabin sauna. Please make sure you have the following items. Make sure you have a steady and level platform to build your sauna on. Place the first floor piece as shown. Ensure the groove is facing upward. Place the second floor piece on top. Ensure the tongue is aligned with the groove. Insert seven two and a half inch screws into the pre-drilled holes. Hammer a T-nut into the pre-drilled holes in each corner. Place the floor down onto the platform as shown. Remove the four threaded rods from the packaging and screw into the T-nuts on the floor until flush with the bottom. Place the bottom sidewall stave onto the rods. This will be the thin board with the lip on the bottom. Repeat the process on the opposite side. Place the rear bottom stave onto the rods, the thick board with the lip on the bottom. Repeat the process on the opposite side. Insert the first sidewall stave onto the rods. Repeat again on the opposite side. Insert the first rear wall stave onto the rods. Insert two short front wall staves onto the rods. Insert another pair of sidewall staves onto the rods. Insert another rear wall stave onto the rods. Insert bottom window piece onto the rod, groove on the bottom, and notch on the top. Repeat on the other side. Insert another pair of sidewall staves onto the rods. Insert another rear wall stave onto the rods. Insert short front wall stave onto the rod. Repeat on the other side. Repeat this pattern four more times. Now slide your first window into the window notch. Repeat with the second window. Now slide your door into the door notch. Ensure that the logo is on the bottom and facing inward.
Now slide the short front wall staves in between the door and windows. Continue placing side, rear, and front wall staves. When you reach this point, insert the top window piece onto the rod. The notch and groove should be on the bottom. Repeat the process on the other side. Insert another pair of side wall staves. Insert the final half-length front wall staves. Insert another set of rear and side wall staves. Insert the full-length front wall stave with the door notch. Insert another rear wall stave. Insert the side wall stave with the angled edge. Repeat the process on the other side. Install the front and back wall gables. Ensure the groove is on the inside. Secure the front and back wall gables to the rods with a washer and a nut. Before installing the roof, ensure that the walls are level and the sauna is not leaning. Now install the roof peak piece and secure with two and a half inch screws. Begin installing roofing staves and secure with two and a half inch screws. Stop installing the roof staves when you reach this point at the bottom. Repeat the process on the other side. After all the roofing staves are installed, install the fascias. Now install the sheets of ice and water shield on the roof.
cut off any excess. Now install the wooden shingles. Start with the piece labeled bottom. The shingles should overhang over the back of the sauna and be flush with the front. Secure with one and a half inch screws. Other than the top, the remaining shingles will come in two pieces. Be sure to match the number on the long piece to the number on the short piece. Continue mounting all the shingles. Repeat the process on the other side. Now install the shingle pieces labeled top. Now install the pre-assembled peak piece. Next, install the benches. The longer frame is for the back, and shorter for the side. Place the first rear bench support against the wall, and secure with 2 inch screws. Place the second rear bench support against the opposite wall, and secure with 2 inch screws. Place the top rear bench on the supports. Secure the bench to the support with 2 inch screws. Place the first middle rear bench support, ensure it is level and secure with 2 inch screws. Repeat with the second middle rear bench support. Secure the bench to the first rear bench support with 2 inch screws. Place the bottom rear bench on the supports and secure with 2 inch screws. Place the first side bench support against the wall, ensure it is level, and secure with 2 inch screws. Place the second side bench support in the middle, and the top side bench on top.
ensure it is level and secure with 2 inch screws. Place the bottom side bench and secure with 2 inch screws. Measure the distance from the top of the bench to the roof in the three corners. Transfer those measurements to three trim pieces and cut. Make sure the tapered end is on the top. Nail the trim pieces to the inner corners. Align the tapered ends with the roof. Measure the height of the stove mounting holes and add 6 inches. Measure the width of the stove mounting holes. Transfer those measurements to the side wall. Screw the stove mounting bolts into the wall. Slide the stove onto the bolts. Assemble the stove guard with one and a half inch screws. Place 2 inch screws into the pre-drilled holes to prepare for mounting. Place the stove guard around the stove, ensure it's level, and secure it to the wall. Install the outer door handle at the desired height with 2 inch screws. Install the inner door handle at the desired height with 2 inch screws. Fasten the door frame to the wall with 2.5 inch screws. Now install the vents. Measure the distance from the wall to the middle of the stove and mark that on the outside of the sauna. Use the vent guard to see where the holes should line up. Three holes over and three down on each side of the guard should get you roughly in the middle. Drill the holes using a two inch hole saw. Only go halfway through to prevent splintering. Finish drilling on the other side. Repeat for the top vent. Now
Now, screw on the vent guards. Now screw on the vent board with a one and a half inch screw. Now install the towel hanger in the desired location. Secure it with four two inch screws. Now install the front roof trim using two inch screws. Repeat the process on the other side. Now install the four corner pieces using two inch screws. Ensure the angled edge aligns with the roof. Install the optional sand timer in the desired location, secure with two one and a half inch screws. Now install the optional thermometer, secure with a one and a half inch screw. Install the optional shelf in the desired location, secure it with two one and a half inch screws. Assembly is now complete. Enjoy your sauna.